My name is Jamie, and this is the vlog for January 5th. <laughs> it's about 8.45 at night. Apollo says hello. <laughs> so, me and Apollo right now, uh, Hubs is putting the kiddo to sleep. She did not have a great night last night. Neither did I. I'm super tired today, so I probably will babble a fair amount on this one. Um, not a lot to report on the home front. Um, it seems like every time we start to think about like planning a trip or a vacation, like of course, as soon as COVID lightens up a bit, um, something comes up. We have a drainage issue on the side of the house that we've known about for a while, but it involves removing chunks of concrete to fix, which is expensive and time consuming and something you really don't think about when it's sunny out and it's beautiful for that good chunk of the year that it is. So, um, but it's becoming problematic. <sighs> Good news is we were able to refinance the house, better interest rate and all that jazz, no money out, but refinance. But being able to miss those couple of mortgage payments will likely help us fix stuff like that. <laughs> so, um, I don't think homeowners insurance is going to cover it. Unfortunately, I think they usually cover storm damage. And since this is like every storm damage, it's slow and gradual. They may not cover it out here. Um, wet walls are unfortunately a way of life in lots of these 70 plus year old houses. So today was not great business wise. I had three clients booked. One session ended up happening. Um, one person forgot and had rescheduled for tomorrow. So there is that. And another person couldn't get through because the road before my house that she's used to taking is closed right now due to a sinkhole and it is closed indefinitely. Um, so she wanted to reschedule and the weather's really terrible. So I don't think she wanted to drive, uh, too much out in the wet and the black darkness that is outside. So I let her reschedule. Um, and then I'll meet her before her, um, her session somewhere and, uh, drive her on in the back way. So since it's closed indefinitely, she's going to have to learn how to get here. Um, so yeah, so that was the solution tonight. Gave me more time with the family. We ended up picking up a um, gingerbread house kit someone was giving away on our Buy Nothing group. And uh, so we did that today. So lots of carbs. <laughs> um, and the little snackage you take of candy and stuff here and there. But overall, pretty good day. Um, my uh, gastrointestinal stuff is kind of kicking my butt. So I'm hoping it will calm down tonight and uh, I can sleep just fine. Um, it's weird. So I decided to log my food today, which is probably not a great day since we ended up doing a gingerbread house. It's not exactly normal. Um, but I logged it just to kind of get an idea of what my trends are. And it's pretty true. Like I tend to miss breakfast, which stinks because breakfast used to be like my biggest meal, but in trying to manage my cholesterol and my blood pressure, it means low sodium, low fat, which does not include bacon and eggs. It includes egg whites, um, but I feel like egg whites are a waste of eggs. So <laughs> I'm either going to eat a whole egg or I'm not. Um, so yeah, buddy. His dog. His dog. My mean, scary pit bull, look out. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> He's a pit bull hound something. But yeah, that's a, that's been, buddy, that's enough. That's uh, been today. Today's been pretty, pretty mellow. We're hoping the hubs will get a little time off uh, this month and we can find the funds and the time to go do something that's not around the house <laughs> or not within like an hour's drive, like even staycation at a hotel or something just to get a change of scenery. Um, a whole year without a vacation sucked. I know people do it all the time, but I am not a homebody. <laughs> I need that adventure on the calendar to look forward to. I found a lot of local adventures. Um, like the kiddo and I went to Crystal Mountain for her birthday and, you know, we've done a bunch of hikes and things like that, which are fun, but I just need to like seriously get out of Dodge. I mean, okay. So we went to Leavenworth mm -hmm. with my brother. Um, and then we went to Leavenworth with my husband I kind of don't count Leavenworth with my husband because it was smoke again and 
It was kind of a nightmare. I mean, the place we stayed was kind of a nightmare. The company was great. Don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, it wasn't exactly, I don't know. It wasn't a vacation we were hoping for. So I'm hoping that one of those vacations will pop up at some point. This guy is incredibly distracting. <laughs> huh, buddy? What'd you think? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no licks. No licks. Um, so anyway... Snuggling with this guy is just what I need tonight. I'm just tired. I'm just done feeling tired. I'm done with COVID-ness stuff right now. I have to, um, well, I don't have to. There's no long, no big changes coming to gyms for a while, at least not in my area. Um, the last thing I read today where the governor released new guidance was 500 square feet around each exerciser in an indoor gym or one person per room. So, luckily, I have a shed that only has one person in it training at any given point. It's not quite 500 square feet, but it's I'm outdoors. They're indoors. So, um, yeah. Oi, this has been a crazy year. But I'm glad to have 12 sessions on the books this week. I'm used to 20-something, um, but it's a start. So, I've gone six minutes. So, with that, I say goodnight. Today was a day. Tomorrow will be better. <laughs>